Not exactly the weather we were expecting this t today. <sighs> Looks like I'm going to do a cooking one today instead. I'm going to cook uh, egg fried rice, seeing as it's so popular with uh, people like uh, Uncle Roger. <laughs> so I'm going to cook it now. Well, not now. When I get dressed and ready. And I'll see you all in a bit. And I know exactly what to do today as well. Anyway, I'm going to cook egg fried rice. And I'm not going to use MSG for the plain reason. It's an E number. And I'll put the description of it there. And then I'll do it without MSG. Even though MSG, not really good for you, but not really bad for you. So, I just don't want to use it because of the E numbers. Mainly because, uh, I just don't want to use it. <laughs> I know Uncle Roger uses it a lot, but I don't see any points. What's it mate? Go on, coffee guts up. I don't see any point in adding food enhancers to your food when it's supposed to be tasting nice anyway. So, if it doesn't taste nice, you're a crap cook. Right, first off, I'm going to cook the rice. <laughs> I'm only going to use a small amount, so... Probably two of these. Oh. That should be enough. And after it's cooked, I'm going to put it into one of these. I'm going to rinse this off. stuff nicely but I'm going to add the vegetables in with the rice I'll use the rest of that measure it to my finger Perfect. And once that's cooked off, I'm going to transfer it into there and then start cooking the putting that in the fridge and then start cooking it in about two hours, three hours time once it's cooled down. Right. Now that's cooled down a bit. I'm going to transfer it into this and put it in the fridge. Over there. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge until later when I start cooking. See you in a minute. Right, let's get this started. Right, <clears throat> first off. Use two eggs. And a pinch of salt. Right, get me 
big pan. And give it a bit of oil. And while that oil is heating up, I'm going to get some meat. I've already had, got some bacon diced up in there, bacon grill. And I'm going to be adding maybe, some ham. Dice this one up. Should be enough, hopefully. I'm using the wood one so I don't scratch it. <laughs> Seasoning ready. Uh, some of it powder to make the rice go a bit yellow. Uh, what else is there? Pepper. And I might add a little bit of chilli powder just to make it a little bit more spicy. pointing down Add a little bit of diced onion to it as well. Time to add the meat. I 
acá. And soy sauce. And I put it in the soy sauce. Might need to add a bit more when the rice goes in as well. That actually smells absolutely gorgeous. Now time, I'll give it a couple of minutes first and then I'll put the rice in. That's one of the reasons I like to cook it all together. So you don't have to, you know, have it all separately. It's not exactly a wok, but it's big enough for one anyway. Some salt. Make it nice and tasty. Just a bit more soy sauce. And we'll put the stuff there. I will add a little bit of chilli powder, not a lot because I don't want it too spicy. Just keep it around. if I can get this to go straight in the plate without going all over the place. There we have it. Nice easy meal. Now we'll do a taste test as well. There you have it. Right, I'll get a good amount of meat and rice 
they have got some chopsticks but not really good on them but I will try with the chopsticks oh. absolutely awesome <laughs> I am going to try with chopsticks. One moment. Here's chopsticks. Right, see if I can actually do this. <laughs> I know I'm useless, but anyway. Oh, that's how you do it. Hmm. There. I'll give it a try. If you like the video, give us a like, comment and a subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Actually, I'm enjoying this more than I should. See you later.